What? Wait. Uh, guys, I, I just got a cup. <coughs> I just got a cup coming to mail from Oakland University. What? I don't know who sent it to me, but I love the cup. I love the cup. Thank you so much. Oakland University. Looks like it's the Bears. I don't know if that's their exact name of their team, but Oakland University, God bless you guys. <clears throat> guys, real quick here. We've got information. Uh, we have a, I guess I would say it's a prophecy alert with Ben Shapiro. Uh, before I tell you about what happened to Ben Shapiro in Jerusalem, <clears throat> let's put a quick shout out real fast to ratefamily.com. That's ratefamily.com. Don't let your family, folks, pay for your final expenses. Matter of fact, death in the family can be hard, but unfortunately, uh, we all have to deal with it sooner or later. All of us leave behind final expenses such as funeral costs, medical bills, and other debts. In fact, the average funeral costs between eight and $9,000 a piece. Having no insurance when you die can leave your loved ones with a huge bill to deal with, and no one wants that. Take control of your family's destiny today. Have the satisfaction they will be financially taken care of. Visit www.ratefamily.com and get a free quote. Matter of fact, you can select the best plan to fit your needs and budget. Burial expenses is very easy to budget, for you can even choose how and how often to make your payments. Some members pay as low as $36 a month due to their income levels. So visit www.ratefamily.com or pick up the phone today and call them at 855-919-RATE. That's 855-919-RATE. You'll be glad you did. Uh, let me tell you what's going on right now. Ben Shapiro, <clears throat> who's on Fox News a lot and, and other places, <clears throat> the radio host, and also uh, uh, he was thrown off the Temple Mount. What? Thrown off the Temple Mount, uh, according to reports, after visiting Hebron, conservative pundit Ben Shapiro headed to Jerusalem, where he made the holy pilgrimage to the Temple Mount. There, he recited a Jewish prayer according to witnesses at the scene. Of course, it's illegal for Jews to pray on the Temple Mount. In his group was another Jewish pilgrim who prostrated himself in front of the Holy of Holies and the Waff, who act as the religious custodians of the Temple Mount site, rushed to the police who removed the young man and detained him for questioning. The police on the Temple Mount then decided to end the group's tour and escort everyone to the Lion's Gate. Cutting their tour trip on the Temple Mount short, Ben Shapiro was among the members of that group. He was kicked off the Temple Mount with the rest of them. Now, as an act of defiance, Shapiro's group began singing Hebrew songs about the building of the third temple to protest the detention of the man who had laid prostrate in prayer. The tactic seemed to work as the police agreed to release the prisoner from detention so long as the group would just stop singing. <laughs> well, the group agreed to stop singing. The man who was detained was released from detention and allowed to leave the Temple Mount with the rest of the group. But on their way out, the waft began with shouts of Allah Akbar at Ben Shapiro and his tour group. At that point, the group began singing again the building of the third temple. Welcome to Israel, Ben Shapiro. Uh, I'm sure he'll have a lot of material for his show. Look, I've been on the Temple Mount now seven times. And uh, Heidi got detained once while we were there because she wasn't wearing the pro appropriate attire by the wolf. And I had to pay some shekels to get her a scarf to wear uh, so that she would be uh, appropriate. But other than that, um, and one time I took a cameraman with me and he was wearing shorts below his knees, but they didn't like that. And they made him wear a skirt. Okay. That happened once, uh, back in 2015. And that was during the time of the, what they called the knife intifada that was going on in Jerusalem in October of 2015. So yeah, you know, I've seen some things up there, but most of the time it's very peaceful. It's very, you know, everything's fine, but you never know what's going to happen. You just can't go up there and pray 
whether you're a Christian or Jew. You can't carry your Bible up there. You can't take any religious symbols with you. You can't do that. So, you know, um, it's, it's just the way it is. That's the, what's called the status quo. But anyway, Ben Shapiro kicked off the Temple Mount. We'll continue to cover all the events that are going on. I'm going to be in Israel this weekend. We're leaving this weekend for Israel. Actually, I won't get there till I think Tuesday morning, but I'm leaving this weekend. So it's going to be a, a very, very great, we're going to have a great tour, a great tour. And we're going to go on the Temple Mount. And we're going to get some footage for you everywhere we go. And I'm going to try to go live everywhere I can. Now, sometimes it works and sometimes it don't. And, and they block a lot of it, you know, especially around certain areas, you know, sometimes. But either way, we'll get footage. We'll be uploading. We'll be keeping you informed of what's going on. It's going to be a great tour. Uh, and so uh, we're just looking forward to it. Hey, I'll be back, guys, later today. Now, we're doing everything old school. My live broadcast will start at 12 noon Eastern from the backup channel, from my backup channel, which is the Paul Begley Prophecy channel on YouTube. So uh, find it, guys. Google it. Find it. Uh, go to YouTube and search it. Paul Begley Prophecy channel. We'll be live. Got a lot to cover. lot to cover. Okay? I'll be back with more. Are you serious? Are you serious? We're in the last days.